What's up, guys? It's your boys, Common, Common Kings, Kings. Mata, Junior, Uncle Louie, Big Rome, and this is Our, our Life Story. story. Family's journey coming to America. I think what my my mom and dad are first generation. We left uh, the South Pacific, and my grandfather's a half Chinese, and so a lot of there was a lot of Asian descendants that came to the South Pacific, uh, missionaries as well. But we left. It was kind of a blessing to leave. You know, it was almost considered a third world country in some of the South Pacific Islands. And then we knew that my dad's like, we need a better opportunity, and there's no way we're gonna have a good opportunity here. And make a living so we, we headed all the way you know find the american dream you know so that's when we came here we had a good education and uh now I'm making a, a life for ourselves got to meet these guys but it's been a blessing it, part, you know too. what i mean that has been the best part these guys have been brothers of ours and we're all been brothers for the last 15 years Aww. and it just so happens we're all kind of you know we're polynesian one and then the asian pacific ties between everybody it's been nice man um my journey was a little bit different in that uh i got to experience life um, in many third world countries, uh, but uh, I think that kind of helped me appreciate more what um, what the U.S. has to offer. How did we find our passion? In music? I grew up singing. I'm the youngest of five, and all of us, we all sing. My mom and dad uh, sang, and dad played guitar. You know, it's kind of in. It's 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 a Polynesian thing. We usually grow up singing and like involved in music and stuff so in our culture we all grew up in the church music was a part big part of our lives my father actually has been a musician like all of his life that kind of was our breadwinner through so we knew the whole i knew the whole touring thing like i hardly got to see my dad growing up my siblings are all we were all born in different states uh, idaho california south pacific because my mom was just dropping the kids as she was on tour and it's a big part of our lives. And that music was what brought all the boys together, and what Common Kings is now. Growing up in the South Pacific, you have like uh, all the communities congregate around church mm -hmm. and, uh, and food. So church, food, and then yeah. whatever, weddings and things like yeah. that. And there's always song. Yeah. Being raised in the church and finding my passion for music. Um, we would play live music in church for like praise and worship and stuff like that. My uncle would i uh, be playing the drums, and I think I was like seven years old. I would, every day I would um, stay after church just to, you know, when the church was over, everybody would leave. I would just stay by, stay back and just try to play the drums, just like my uncle. And that's how I, I found my passion for music. Um, the name Common Kings uh, is a tribute to our culture. Um, Mata Samoan, uh, JR's um, Hawaiian Samoan. I'm Fijian, he's Tongan. So, um, Tonga, they still have a, a monarchy. In Samoa and Fiji, it's like, you know, chiefs and high chiefs. So, there's a sense of royalty, you know? Uh, so, but everywhere, we're, we're common people, you know, just like everybody else. But that is, our, that is our heritage. So, the name Common Kings is kind of a tribute to our heritage our and heritage our culture. And our people. Getting to where we are now, which is, nowhere near where we think we can get to um there's a different mindset that uh, mm. that that i i don't think like some yeah, a lot of us. yeah there's a lot of like uh and i hate to say it like you know a lot of our polynesian yeah no a... um culture you kind of um it goes it goes against the grain you know in order to to make it in you have to there's a fine line between arrogance and confidence and so um Arrogance, obviously, in Polynesian culture is looked down upon. And to a certain respect, so is confidence. Like, you know, oh, like, you want to be somebody. You know, like, just go do this. Don't try and be more than you really are kind of kind of situation. So we have, you know, we have a goal in mind. We have a dream. And so when, when you're that dedicated, there's just certain things that just does not fly with your culture. And, and right. what, you know, and I think it runs across the board. You have to, you have to, like, think different, operate different, and and just, just be almost different and i think there's enough uh there's there's more and more like every year we see yeah. more and more artists that are coming Stepping out that out, are coming out yeah that are starting to like 
to like get that mindset, you know. But for a long time, you know, you're not you're not taught to stand out. You're taught to conform. Mm -hmm. And so, if you stand out, you're you know, you're trying to show up, you know, or or you know, trying to be somebody. Or the term when I was growing up was like, you're, oh, you're trying to be a white guy, you know. <laughs> it's like yeah. it was a bad thing. It was like. Hey. I'm trying to be educated. You had and goals and, and yeah. aspirations. You're like, what? Trying to be different. If you have goals, aspirations, and dreams, you know, really, really go for it. You got to make a sacrifice if you really believe you want to do this for a living. And I was just going to say, going with the last question as well, is that in our culture growing up, we were taught to basically, um, you know, uh, conform, meaning, uh, you know, we're, we always got to help our family. Every Like, our family wasn't our immediate family. It was everybody. All of the extended family was our family. So whatever you had to do to grow up to help your parents and growing up after high school, you make a family and you take care of your parents, and that was it. That was all our, like, our future goals were. So with any other inspiring uh, musicians or artists coming up, you know, you got to kind of think outside of the norm and if you believe in yourself and... Yeah, just a lot of hard work and dedication. NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.